Lovelands, it's Nico, and this is how I look after a day of work. But, my husband brought in the mail, and I got my Ipsy bag, so I'm gonna do uh, what's in my Ipsy bag, and I will try on whatever is in here, because, you know, completely barefaced, and it's the end of the day, so. It was really, really hot in Florida. Again, because, you know, springtime. So, let us see what is in the bag. That is all that's in there. This is the theme. It is really cute. It's like a really light yellow um, with stamps all over it. And the back is an orangey color, like a tropical orange. It's a little Ipsy stamp and the zipper is just a really plain zipper stamped with the ipsy so let us see what is in here a little insert and that is what does it say it says go there i couldn't read there backwards so it says go there and this is what the back looks like and it says hey hipster we're writing to you from a cafe in Paris. Roxette, is that how you say that name? I guess, is munching on crepes. Lynette is stamping pictures and we're soaking in all in, and <laughs> we're all soaking in this beautiful city. I cannot, cannot word, I cannot read words. Why are we here? At Ipsy, we're obsessed with self-expression and we found that sometimes you need to get lost so you can find yourself. To prove the to prove the magic of travel, we busted out our passports, hopped a red eye to London, and took a train to Paris. We laughed, we cried, we drank proper tea, and ate too many croissants. And we captured every step of the way so we can share it with you. And then go to Ipsy, check out all the fun stuff. It's cute. They signed the back of it really don't know how to say her name raw i don't know i don't know anyway let's see oh it's a little beauty blendery thing oh ooh, it's really squishy sometimes makeup um thingies are actually hard Arr. not gonna swallow that Ooh, ooh, this is soft. Ooh, it feels like a powder puff. Oh, I'm interested to see what this is like. There's a little flat edge right there when it's damp, but I don't think this even needs to be used to damp. This is, it's so soft. I haven't had an like a beauty blendery makeup sponge thing that is this soft, except for like, you know, the little triangle ones that everybody starts out a lot of people start out with in makeup. Those are really soft. This is super, super soft. It's like marshmallow. Oh my god. All right. Where is this from? Oh, there's a there's there's a name that uh S L Miss Glam. That's what it says on there. That is hard to read. Super, super, super soft. It's almost as soft as a squishy. No. Squishy is almost as soft as it. it is. Very, very squishy though. Next is from NYX NYX. I always call it NYX. It is a soft matte lip cream in the color uh, Cairo. This is not a color I use very often. I do keep a matte uh, lipstick, actually, the one that I really didn't like. This one, but I have been using it to just put something on my lips whenever, like, I do a quick, a quick video. So you can see my lips, so they're not just blended into the rest of me. Why is this not opening the way it should open? You know, it has like a strip thing. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, so it's a very nudie color. It's 
like a little bit darker than oh it has a little doe foot Ooh, that is creamy cannot see it in the direct light but that is what it is like swatched on the back of my hand it smells like vanilla I like it voila I have no lips that I think this would be oh god it tastes good too it smells like vanilla it tastes nice but it gives me no lips so I think this will be a really nice base for some like specialty colors like a base before I put on since it's matte since I'll like before I put on like a blue or a green or a purple you guys are not seeing me in but I have um we'll see how that dries down so put that down next looks like an eyeshadow where is this from pop goes the shadow Ooh, mermaid teal I like fun colors we don't normally get fun colors oh my god that's that's beautiful oh it has iridescence and everything Ooh, ooh, it's shimmery and I have definitely had eyeshadow from this brand before I'll swatch it on the back of my hand too I just got excited I got really excited it is a very mermaidy teal color. This is really pretty. I didn't do the best job, but whatever. And honestly, just swatching it on the back of my finger, this will shimmery. You can see better. It's a really pretty color. I obviously wouldn't put this on my entire eyelid like I have right now but like out on the edges and stuff for like a pop don't want teal to get all over everything I think that'll be really pretty next is from Tony Moly I really like Tony Moly so much this is a therapy pack um, ooh it is sebum control back black color clay Alright, so it's like for skin conditioning. I'm going to have to look this up because it just says apply the appropriate amount on areas that need care for the entire face. Allow 10 to 15 minutes and wash off with lukewarm water. So that is what that is. It's probably sealed on the inside. Yep, it's definitely sealed. I'm not going to open that right now. And oh, the last thing, so that's only four things that's weird it's from Tarte that is really pretty and this is smooth operator Amazonian finishing powder ooh I have wanted to try this I've seen other people get like finishing powders and stuff in other bags and boxes it is uh, sealed so we're gonna, we're gonna pop that seal shake out a little bit now I normally put on my finishing powder with a powder puff oh that is that is hard to get out all right I'll a little bit out and onto the don't let it fall ooh that is oh no there's five things I forgot about the little makeup blender that is very silky, silky soft. And, ooh, that is, that's really silky. And it kind of did mat up my hand. I have a brush, I actually have a brush right here. Thank you, Margie. <laughs> I have kept it near my desk. I haven't even opened it yet. And this is not obviously the right brush to use, but it's a mermaid brush. And it kind of goes with my mermaid color eyeshadow. So I'm just going to Put some on, maybe. Mariana. I can see little, little powdery, dusty things going up and off. It feels really nice. The brush feels really nice too. 
This is not going to like mattify my entire face. And it's like, I'm not having a lot of it on. Oh, but it's so soft. It is so, so soft. Okay, wow. That, okay, that's what I do with my pens. Whoa, sorry. I do that with my pens. So that is really soft. Um, the shaker sucks, but so far I like this. I will, I'll have to experiment with this and use it. Um, so finishing powder, squishy, 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 squishy makeup blender, a Tony Moly mask thing that I'm going to have to look up. It says painting therapy pack. I think I read that to you. I don't know. Um, a very naked nude lippy that has dried down. It's not, not drying my lips out, but I don't have lips right now. And very, really pretty mermaidy teal eyeshadow that I definitely am not going to put over my entire eyelid when I actually wear it. So that was in my, what was in my Ipsy bag. That was awesome. I know I'm supposed to cancel Ipsy, but I haven't yet. I have a problem. I like it, but I have so much makeup. But I'm really trying to get through the makeup I have. And like, products and stuff. Anyway, that was with my Ipsy bag. I am actually really happy with this bag. The way it looks, I'm happy with what's in it. Um, so yeah. Have a nice night. Bye! Mwah.